right, so now we have the Son Goku's FX part set out of the box. And uh, before we take a closer look, just want to let you guys know that this FX part set is made specifically for the Son Goku Saiyan raised on Earth. Check this out. And this is this figure has been out uh, already everywhere and has been reissued many times already. So you probably won't have a hard time uh, finding this figure. I'm sure the FX pieces you can use on other figures, but uh, more so it is made for uh, this uh Son Goku figure. But uh, now let's take a closer look at the parts. Uh, let's start with, of course, the super cool headpiece that came with it that you can use on the uh, Goku Raised on Earth. Check that out, man. Very nice detail. Finally, uh, Tamashi Nations is catching up with the, uh, with all the FX pieces and other uh, hair pieces that are, you know, more for action poses. So this is a cool addition to your uh, Son Goku figure. Of course uh, check that out very nice detail on it you know i know there's a lot of customizers who probably do a better job at uh customizing the goku's hair that you and they're being sold everywhere but this is an official one which is pretty cool check that out very nice detail yeah i'm glad that they are finally <laughs> releasing this kind of uh hair piece for son goku and then of course you have the which one is this the air bullet joint so these are called air bullets so you have a large air bullet right here that's a clear one so and then you have a small air bullet right here it's uh, pretty clear too so there and then you have effects pieces or punch effects punch and kick uh effects pieces so these two are for punches and these are these are for kicks so let's take these are super sharp <laughs> so or pointy so make be careful when uh, handling this because it could pierce your skin so i almost got into an accident with one of these going into my nails and that that's gonna hurt if it happened but uh, that's for and this where you attach the joints so this is for the uh, kick effects and these are for uh, punch effects. Let's check that out. Yeah, there you go. I mean, there's kind of hard uh, plastic or whatever it's made of PVC maybe, but uh, those are the punch effects. And then you have another the big kick effect. Uh, there you go. Boom! Check that out huge <laughs> all right that's that oops and then here on this side who is the same thing uh same uh, set but uh of course the uh, different uh, sides you um that you can put it on so there's the same ones same effects pieces and then these are the uh ring joints that you use to attach the the effects pieces you can really see it because the background's clear this is our clear so it's made to look like it's invisible oops all right and there's different sizes and these are more for the kicks and these are for the punches and of course this is used i think for the bullet uh the bullet uh air bullet uh fx piece so check that and then we're gonna show you how to attach that all right, so now let's replace uh, the original uh, uh, Goku head with this new one. So it's pretty easy. Just pop this off. There you go. Just uh, comes off easy like that. And uh, you insert this. Oops. Get this right. All right, so I finally got to attach the new head on the Goku. Check that out, man. He looks great, to be honest with you guys. Wow. And you can do some really cool action poses already. And so what's really cool about this new headpiece too is that you can use the other face blades that uh, came with the Cyan Raised on Earth Goku. And uh, let's try that out right now. So let's just remove that, that, and then let's get this and attach it here. There you go. See, kind of fits perfectly right there. And then let's use and there you go so even when he's standing still you know you can really show that his hair is uh, being blown by 
uh, the strong wind. So check that out, man. That's really, that looks really cool, man. All right, so we're gonna attach the air bullet effects piece to uh, Goku's hand. So it's pretty easy. Just uh, use this hand right here that uh, shows like he's, uh, you know, firing a fireball. And use the J piece right here, which is called the uh, air bullet joint. So use this one. So let's uh, pop off the hand first. So, and then let's uh, um, go ahead and attach the new hand. Okay. So let's put this down first. There you go. And then, there. Oops, I think I did it the wrong other way around. This way, boom. And then, let's be, use the big air bullet piece. All right, so as you can see here, there's a hole right there that you can just attach over here at the bottom. So make sure, oops, there you go. And now he's firing the air bullet, bam. Oops, check that out, looks nice. That's how it looks on the side. Here too. I mean, uh, we could probably pose it better, but for now, that's how it looks. All right, so now we're gonna attach the punch effects pieces to the figure. So before that, we're gonna choose a, a ring joint. Uh, there are two different versions or diff different kinds. So there's a double-sided ring joint, as you can see here, and the single-sided uh, ring joint. So we're gonna use one for the hands, which is the small one over here for the single one. And uh, I, I think I suggest first to attach the effects piece to the ring joint first. Uh, I think it's kind of difficult to, it doesn't really go in really uh, smoothly. So I uh, might have to use some force to it. So we're going to do that really quick. So check that out. All right, so now it's able to attach the, the ring joint to the effects piece. But uh, my suggestion is to heat up the effects piece first so the it will get soft and you'll be able to insert the the ring joint as you can see here look if you listen to that or i don't know if you can hear it but there's some sweet king there it's on there really tight so it's not gonna uh, move easily so it's gonna be pretty stable so now let's attach this effects piece to goku so remove this hand first and then let's insert it right here and then attach the hand goes in properly Adam there you go so there is punching yeah there you go check it out all right so now we're gonna use the big kick effects piece right here and which is this curd one and this is mostly used for roundhouse kicks you know this is uh, pretty cool to be honest with you guys but check that out nice detail on it and then we're gonna use the single-sided uh, ring joint right here. And then uh, it's pretty easy, just pop this in here. There you go. And then you can just insert it into uh, Goku's leg. And this one is actually more snug uh, on the leg. So you can uh, push this in right so, and check that out. So it's not moving at all. So check that out, man. There you go, let's pose him properly. And boom, oops, there you go. Nice. All right, so now we have uh, Saiyan raised on Earth, uh, Son Goku with the effects parts attached to him. And as you can see here, we have the punch effects piece right here and you have the, some of the kick effects piece right here too. And then, of course, you have the air bullet uh, effects piece. So, like a key blast for him to use. And uh, here is, of course, is the very cool uh, head sculpt that came with the, with the FX parts too. And that's a great addition to that set. And check that out, man. So, all right. So, it looks really good with the Goku. I mean, uh, this is not how you usually display the FX piece with the Goku. Uh, I'll be posting on some uh, some uh, photos on the in the video where you can see the 
which is the proper way of using the effects pieces. But um, just be careful when using these effects pieces because or attaching it um, using these ring joints. These ring joints are very uh, fragile. So as you can see there, they're very clear. And I already broke one actually, <laughs> as you can see here. And uh, I didn't hold it at the base, so I twisted it and it broke off. The ball joint broke off into the hole and it took me a while to dig it out. So um, just be careful when using these uh, uh, ring joints. Uh, make sure you probably get a, have a group grip of the bottom here, right here. And then you like, so you can like twist it around or remove it. So uh, because they are very, uh, this small one is very kind of, it's kind of thin and it's uh, very brittle. So just be careful in uh, using these ball, attaching and detaching the, the ball joint. So, but uh, you can use these effects pieces with every other um, Goku. Uh, uh, we can probably use the, uh, the, the punch effects on the other figures and the kick effects on certain figures. But uh, you can probably use the, uh, the punch effects more on the hands of other figures too. But the kick effects, the ring joints like these are specifically made to fit Goku's boots. So it does, it fits it very well. Like I have it on display like on this one. So look at that. If you check out the foot right there, the, the, the ring joint fits exactly on the boot. So, but uh, overall, man, this is a great set to add to for, uh, you know, to add to your effects pieces or figure arts collection. And uh, just a you know, great accessory set for uh, Son Goku. Of course, uh, hopefully they make uh, one for Super si a Super Saiyan version of this. You know, so where we could see like the hair is like also um, uh, sculpted in a way where the hair, the wind is blowing the hair. So uh, this is just an awesome head sculpt that they included. So I'm glad that. Uh, we were able to the machinations release these FX pieces for us collectors. And that wraps up my review of the brand new SH Figures Goku FX Parts set. And I have the FX Parts, one of the kick FX Parts uh, attached to the Cyan Rays on Earth Goku. As you can see there, check that out man. Hopefully it's clear. And also, this is the brand new head sculpt on the, attached to the figure. Hopefully you can see that properly. With the new face also. So it looks, it fits the figure really well. You know, uh, it's pretty easy to install. And what's cool thing about uh, this, uh, the head sculpt is that you can uh, check out, take out the faces and use the faces from the sign raised on Earth Goku and attach it to this hair sculpt right here and it fits perfectly and you won't have any issues. So you have many options of uh, what uh, other faces you want while doing your super cool action poses. So, and I have my uh, Super Saiyan uh, full power Goku right here with the air bullet FX piece right here attached to his hand as you can see there check that out so that looks pretty awesome too so I'm glad their uh, Tamashii Nations is giving us all these FX pieces and hopefully they can release um, the Super Saiyan version of the FX part set where uh, you know his hair uh, the Super Saiyan hair will be blowing in the wind also for awesome uh, action poses so, um, for now if you want this uh, set right now is it on, out in Japan already um, I'll be posting the links, but also you, uh, this set is going to be released in, uh, here in the U.S. also. So it's a regular release. You won't have any issues um, finding this set because you know it's a, people are going to be complaining it's a premium Bandai. So no, it's just a regular release. So um, it's going to be costing you probably $35 to $40 for the FX part set. So um, nothing too expensive, you know, and you have a brand new head sculpt for the Goku, which is pretty awesome. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.